folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And uh, needless to say, folks, we are kicking it into 2022. I wish everyone a ha ha healthy, happy, uh, new year, and uh, let's do it. Let's do it upright. And this is a great card to kick into the new year. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself fully to be alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you're going to enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 48, NASDAQ is down 39, SP's flat. Gold contract up $14.50, trading at 1828 an ounce. We have silver up 27 cents, $23.33 33 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 65, $75.34 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up, no, flat, 130.11. 30 year up seven ticks at 160.03 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 366 ticks, trading out at 95.603. The Euro is at 113, the Yen is at 115.10, and the British Pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, last day of the year. Bottom line, you get Europe closed for half a day, bond market closed at 2 o'clock. The way this works in the in New York Stock Exchange, folks, is that uh, the bottom line is that if it's the last day of the quarter or the last day of the year, uh, the bottom line is that they have a rule that uh, you got to be opened. <laughs> so that's what we have out here. That being said, if you take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see is this. So SPY breaks topside big time on Monday. That break topside, say in the spike, go to 500. We're at 476. You go sideways for three days, and then what we did today, and this is, this is the kicker. So this is the kicker for coming back to work on Monday. What we've done today is this. You, first off, you went into Monday's low. Not Monday's, no, Monday's bar. And we've, right now it's 31 million shares. We'll probably do like 35. Well, Monday's bar is 56. So you're pulling back with lighter volume, and that's important. What's more important is this, is that when we came down yesterday, you came down 55 million. Now what we have is this, we got the 474, it rejected it, you're at 476, so you're still inside the higher range, and you're going to have tremendously lighter volume. That's telling me Monday morning, Tuesday morning, you're going top side next week, once again. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs are set up the same way, meaning we can have a, 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 the Qs are set up for an ABC structure on the way up. Now, the differential in the Qs, the Qs have not hit the highs yet. So we have with the, with the Qs is this. You're backing down, you get 22 million shares, you're backing in against 32. So you, you, got, you have some volume in the Qs. There's no two ways about that. So the Qs are a little bit trickier. We'll see whether it's going to be an ABC structure on the way up. And what you can do with this, folks, is this, is that you watch the Qs, okay, as the S&P is going up because what normally happens is this. It's normally the NDX 100 that drives the, the NASDAQ composite that drives the S&P. So if we see the Qs pulling back next week, the bottom line is that your probability goes higher that what you're going to do is that you're not going to get that 500 print that I'm looking for in the S&Ps. Gold. Gold contract caught a bid. Gold wants higher price, man. This is going to be pretty cool watching this shake out. Um, what we have out here today is this. Gold's taken out its swing. Bottom line, you get 97,000 contracts versus 101. Not bad, though. I, hey, we might have 101 by the close. You're going into the huge downdraft that we had out there on the 23rd of November. That's when we went from uh, we went down $50 in gold. You, have, you built enough cars up because we, we have built cars up for basically six weeks right now. For, uh, Five weeks, five full weeks, five trading weeks. That, and that's plenty of time to build cars up when, in fact, you got a huge rejection of lower price with lighter volume on December 15th as we were coming into the other swing points. But what you can see, it's quite clear. You get three higher lows 
uh, going back six months in a big way. That's what you'd like to have. Right now, we only have one. Well, no, we get two higher highs. We get we get that's yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so check that. That's we get we get some good action here. King dollar. What do we have with King dollar? King dollar wants lower price, and I think this is what's going to do it. King dollar has been building cars. King dollar has also been going sideways, but at a high end consolidation since the exact same date we're talking about, meaning the 26th of November. You broke down today, and I suspect what we have, let's go over to the euro and we take a look at the euro, because when you take a look at the euro, the euro, yep, euro is going to break topside, and we're at 113.84. You break, let's see, 113. Oh, my God. So check this out. 113.83, folks, is the spike. Your, uh, your, point, your, your tick over it. Want to see a little bit more, but that's telling me the euro is going to make the run to 116. And we go to the British pound. We take a look at the British pound out here. What we have with the British pound. British, come on, baby. There we go. We take a look at the British pound. British pound right now is trading up 34.6. That's nice. That just took out... Okay, this is cool, man. Man, you know what's amazing, folks? Well, we'll see how this shakes out, but the pound looks to me like it's going to go to 138. Well, you're at 135, and now the yen. The yen is only a small portion of the dollar index. That being said, however, is that what happens with the yen is that the yen can really move gold. And the yen moves gold when it gets stronger against the U.S. dollar, not weaker. And right now, we're at the top of the range in the yen. You're at 115.10. The bottom range in this yen is the 112 and a half area. And, you know, we'll see if it's going to go test the highs. You know, but when we take a look at the, the euro, we take a look at the pound, take a look at the dollar. That's saying dollar wants lower price, pound wants higher price, euro wants higher price. That'll put higher price in gold. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back with Earl from Seminole.